In this lesson we're looking at power chords from the A string. Okay, so hopefully you've got your power chords down from the E string and you've got all the techniques that go along with that. And what we're going to do now, we're just going to move the shape down a string. Okay, so we're playing it from the A string this time. So all we need to do, last time we, uh, we played it from the 5th fret of the E string to start us off. So let's do the same thing, let's go down to the 5th fret of the A string. So we're just going to move that shape down. So our first finger is going to be on the 5th fret of the A string, our third finger is going to be on the 7th fret of the D string. Okay, our first finger is doing the same as last time, taking care of all the higher strings for all the music in there. Okay, but there's one extra thing we're going to do, we've got to do, otherwise we get this sound. This is pretty horrible and cluttered. Okay, we're basically going to mute the low open string, the uh, low E string, with our tip of our first finger. So what we're going to do, when we use this first finger on the uh, A string power chord, we're going to play a bit more on the pad when we actually fret that uh, fifth fret of the A string note. And then this allows our uh, tip to be a bit more free. And we're going to use that to just lightly touch the low E string. Okay, so it should sound like this now when you play your uh, low open E string. Okay, so the note can't actually ring out anymore. This way we can just play the chord and nothing rings out other than the two notes that we actually want. Okay, so if I just get a close up on that. So hopefully you can see that it's the tip of my finger. It's just very lightly touching that E string. If I was on the... If I was playing it lower, like that, I wouldn't be touching it. But I'm using the pad of my finger to play the 5th fret, and then the tip is just lightly touching that low E string. Okay, so hopefully you got that, and that makes sense by touching the tip of the, uh, the, tip of the finger touching the E string. A good exercise to do would just be going from the 5th fret E string, the A5, going down to the 5th fret on the A string. Practicing going between those two. And when you're doing it, do it very slowly because you know there's an extra technique you've got to think about. So play it very slowly, get used to what you've got to do there. And once you've done that, then let's move on and we'll do the open chord from the same string. So last time we looked at our E5 power chord, which was the low open power chord from the E string. Now we're going to do the same thing from this string, we're going to look at the A5, which is the open power chord from this string. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to play the open A string, and then the second fret on the D string. Okay, the first finger, same thing as last time, is taking care of the unit of the high strings. Okay, and what we need to do, we've got one more technique we need to do with this, we need to bring the thumb over, to mute the low open E string because we don't want that note to ring out. Okay, so the thumb's going to come round and then it's lightly just touching that E string just so that just mutes it so it can't ring out. This way again we can just we can just play the chords. We don't have to worry about being precise. We can just hear the two notes that we want to ring. Okay, so make sure you're not bringing the thumb over too much and it's uh, actually playing a note. You're getting that, that tells you if you get that sound, you're playing a bit too hard with a thumb. Just very lightly touching that E string, and you get that kind of sound. Okay, so a good exercise there would just be practicing going from your E5, bringing the thumb round, going down to the A5. So you get used to putting your hand in these two positions. The thumb's coming down, the thumb's coming over. Practice slowly, get used to that movement. Okay, so if you uh, get that down and you get your power chords on your A string, now it really opens up to, um, you can play a lot more songs now, because before you were restricted to just playing power chords from the E string, but now you've got them on the A string, you can play a lot more songs and you can move around a lot more. So learn some of those songs and um, yeah, have fun with it.